What's up guys, Matt back here with BK Vending and Flipping. So I sold a tennis racket today, so I was just gonna do a quick video on how I ship tennis rackets. So Noah's gonna hand me the phone and I'll be right with you. All right, so the tennis racket that I sold is actually right back here. Let's see, not this one. So it's this one here. So I'm just gonna set it over here really quickly. And then, all right, so I'm gonna grab some bubble wrap and my boxes real quick, and then I'll go over those uh, with you exactly what I use and all that. So give me one second. All right, guys, so I start with four pieces of bubble wrap um, for the head part of the racket. So I'm gonna, essentially, I just kind of put it like this, wrap it all up as best I can, and try to get the wrap down all the way to here. So I'm going to do that really quickly because it's hard to do with just one hand and then I'll show you. Okay, so it's something just kind of like that. I'll just tape this little part on and then I tape the top part here as well so that the head of the racket's not exposed. So I'm going to do that real quick. Give me one second. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, none of it is exposed anymore. It's all completely wrapped up. You can see there. It doesn't look pretty, but it doesn't necessarily matter so much to me about that. So... On the, on the handle of the racket, which this handle is messed up, so I'm including a, a new tape for it. But I just do the same method I use with golf clubs and baseball bats. So give me one second, I'll show you that. All right, so I just kind of put the perforated edge down here, put it over, and then I'll fold this over this way and this one underneath it this way so that it all kind of has the same, and then I'll just tape it all up. So I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, so just something kind of like that. I didn't tape the middle part. That's why it's kind of poofy there. I just taped on both ends. There's tiny little bits showing, but that won't be a big deal. Um, so there's that part of it. So the next thing that I do is I get the boxes that I use for this, which I will show you. Let's see, where's the number on this? Right here. So you can use these 1092 boxes, or there are also some that are 1095. I just so happen to have two of the 1092, so that's what I'm gonna use. But they're free from the post office. So what you do, I already uh, sealed this one. It's, it's exactly like this end here. It has the sticky on the end. So this is it. So what I do is I put some paper down inside. So I'm gonna grab that and do it real quick. So I actually decided to do it a little bit differently. I have just this big, you know, like packing tape, or a paper, I mean. So I'm gonna just kinda set this here and then I'm gonna like wrap this paper around it and then put it in the box. So I'll do that real quick. All right, so I've got the paper wrapped around right there. You can kind of see that and the tennis racket inside. So it's just kind of sitting up out of the box like that. So now what I'll do is I'll actually, that's okay. I'll cut this, the flap right here of the box so that just this part is sticking out and then I'll, I'll actually put it down and seal the two edges. So I'm gonna cut it really quick so you can see what it looks like. I'll show you that and then I'm gonna put it down and seal it. Okay, so I've cut it. So what I'll do now is I'll actually seal this edge down and I'll seal this edge down and that essentially will hold the racket in place. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Okay, so here you go. So the 1095 boxes are a little bit longer so you can usually get the boxes up here more on the 1095. So 1092, this one, I mean, you can see it's nice and snug in there. It's touching both on this side and on this side, so the racket's not gonna be bouncing around or anything like that. And then essentially, we're just gonna take this other box and uh, you know, put it right over the top. So I'm gonna get that all set up. Give me one second. Okay, so I have my other box all ready to go. This end is sealed. Now, just to get it over this, so to try and avoid this other box ripping when I'm putting it on, what I'll do is I'll usually take a baseball bat and I'll indent these down in on all four corners to try to make the other box slide on easier. I'm gonna do that real quick. All right, so then it just kind of comes out like this. You can just kind of see they're just rounded a tiny little bit, not a ton, um, but it makes this other box go on quite a bit easier. I'm gonna, I don't do any other padding or anything else like that in this box, so I'm just gonna throw this other box on and we'll get it done from there. Okay, just like that, so it's actually hitting the top of this box, 
which like I said, normally I would like to use a 1095 because it's barely on by the um, hinges there, but I'm gonna tape that on really, really good. I'll run tape all around this. I'll run tape up and down just to make sure it's nice and secure on there. So I'm gonna do that really quick and then I'll show you what it looks like before I print out the postage. All right, and here is our box. So I tape around the middle pretty heavily. You can see I run tape along the box here, like all the way around the box to hold it in place. It's pretty sturdy and you can hear, I mean, the, the racket's not r rattling around or anything. It's literally tight on both sides and it's super light. So I'll actually weigh it here real quick. You guys can see it's not heavy. So it's not gonna be a ton of money to ship. It's like, yeah, under two pounds. And so, yeah. I, I did, uh, with the 1095 boxes, I did two tennis rackets just like this and just kind of crisscrossed them in the box. And uh, it worked just fine. So I'm going to get the shipping printed out for these. And then that's it. You just take that in and drop it off. But uh, hopefully you guys found this helpful in, it, in any way. If I'm doing it incorrectly or if you guys have suggestions of a better way to do it, leave me a comment down below. I, I'd like to learn as well. So... Anyways, like I said, hopefully this helped, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Just a quick bonus. I had to show uh, Kevin over at Commonwealth Picker three pair of shoes going out tomorrow, too. So pretty excited about that.